What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. I feel like news has just been coming out and coming out very rapidly, and it may just be because we're in kind of reveal season, right? You know, coming up on the third, fourth, fifth month of the of the years, usually when we have reveals and lots of news coming on us. So that is kind of what the deal is today, man. We have some brand new WWE action figure news. I know a little while ago we did break down WWE Elite Series 95, but we have a new series coming out that we have to discuss here and I gotta put it out there and let you guys know about it. So what we've been uh, talking about, we did have Elite Series 95 like I mentioned, but we also had this new series dropped on us called WWE Mattel Elite Greatest Hit Series. So it's going to be a Greatest Hit Series. Now you may be thinking like top picks or, or you know, like kind of like the best of wave. You guys remember the best of waves way back when, like in 2011, 2010 I think it was, when Mattel would kind of take their best figures of the year, the best selling figures of the year, and redo those. Very similar to the top picks. This is not what that is. This is actually, I, I, I want to say people are going to be very excited about it and it's either going to be you're on one half of it or you're on the other. You're either going to be like, damn, this sucks or you're going to be like, wow, that's terrific and we're going to break down all the different things. Now, there are some things that I'm going to tell you to keep in your mind when you're thinking about this series but also just, just try to be open-minded. I get both sides of it. We're going to discuss all the things here, man. But let's go ahead and dive in, man. WWE Mattel Elite Series Greatest Hits or Greatest Hits Series. Now, in this wave, we do have six different figures. We're going to break them all down down here. What I'm going to do is run through every figure in the set and then I'll kind of discuss what I think we're going to see here. All these different things. So the first figure in the set is going to be Bam Bam Bigelow. Very big name right there. We just recently got our Legends figure with Bam Bam Bigelow. We have seen quite a few, you know, quite just a, a few, you know, sprinkled here and there in Bam Bam Bigelow. Mostly exclusives, right? I don't know if this is going to be Walmart exclusive or Target exclusive. I don't know if it's going to be you know, I would, I would I think it would probably be one or two, you know. I feel like it would be either Walmart or Target exclusive. We'll have to wait and see. I haven't heard any news on it just yet or at the time of recording. If we get an update, I will let you guys know. But the first figure in the series is going to be Bam Bam Bigelow. The next figure in the set will be Jake the Snake Roberts. Another guy that, again, has continued to be pushed out even though he is in AEW or he was last seen in AEW. I, I feel like I haven't seen him on AEW TV in a little bit. But I feel like, you know, we're, I don't know if he has like a multi-Legends deal where he ha he can dabble in the AEW figures and the WWE figures. We have yet to see an AEW Jazzwares figure of Jake the Snake, but he is the next figure in the set. So I don't know what his deal is. He's got the hookup, man. He's able to dabble in both companies. Pretty cool stuff. Again, we haven't seen him in AEW figure form, but probably only a matter of time before that comes true. We probably see him in the Luminaries collection or something like that. Outside of Jake the Snake Roberts, we have The Rock. So The Rock returning, no, no surprise here. We have seen multiple rocks over the years we've even seen you know we just recently got the ultimate edition rock with the you know with the series 10 i think it was we also had the rock and sock connection 2 pack we have seen the top picks rock figure that also dropped so lots of rock figures coming and they're probably you know that you know how they say right they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming next figure in the set is somebody who did it for the rock and that is going to be rikishi rikishi returning here in this set. So the Rikishi figure looking pretty cool right there. So we're, we're going to have Rikishi up next to the Rock. And you're probably like, what the hell is this series? Kind of all over the place. Well, that's something that we'll get into after I discuss the full wave. But Bam Bam Bigelow, Jake the Snake, Roberts, the Rock. Next up will be Rikishi. The next, one, the next one is no surprise to the line whatsoever. That is going to be the Undertaker. Another Undertaker figure that's getting up there in the 30s now, man. This man has had so many different figures, so many different looks of all his different gimmicks and looks over the years, as it should. You know, man's going into the Hall of Fame this year, so it would only make sense that we get some more figures of him. And I could see maybe a big Hall of Fame exclusive pack or something like that for The Undertaker featuring, like, all his different looks over the years of Elites. That would be incredible. I, I ensure that he will probably be a part of Elite Series 100, right? I feel like that would probably be the next step, so we'll have to see. But The Undertaker's the next figure in the set, and the last figure remaining in the greatest hit series that we've seen here is going to be Rey Mysterio. So this is the full wave right here. Bam Bam Bigelow, Jake the Snake Roberts, The Rock, Rikishi, The Undertaker, and Rey Mysterio. So six full figures right here. Very crazy. This reminds me a lot of that Elite 47.5 set that we got not too long ago, or it was it was a very long time ago, to be honest with you, man. That was, that was almost like 47 series ago or something like that, right? So it has been a little bit, but this is kind of what that reminds me of. Kind of that, like, Elite Series 95B kind of deal, but they don't call it that. They don't call it the top picks or nothing. They're calling it the Greatest Hit Series. Now, 
What I'm thinking for this wave is they're going to take six figures throughout the history of Mattel that have been really hard hitters, figures that have been really hard to come by, figures that people want to see re-released. That's what I'm guessing will be this Greatest Hit series. And I'm going to run through the figures that I think they will be in figure form right here based off of the past history of WWE Elites and what we've seen before. Now, you got to take it into consideration. It's probably going to be these figures, but they're also going to be like redone, right? All these figures will probably feature true effects instead of their cartoony head sculpts. They'll all feature pinless double jointed arms like their older figures featured pinned single jointed arms. And then they're also going to be an updated cool packaging. They're going to have all these different deals. There's going to be a lot of great things about these. They may add some accessories. They may add extra head sculpts. There's probably going to be some updated technology about these guys and that's probably the reasoning behind these re-releases and I get both sides of it right they're probably get, yeah, yeah, like I get the guy that collected these figures 10 years ago or however long these released you know you've held on to it for so many years and it's really built up a lot of value over time but now with the re-release it's going to definitely come down in considerable value because it is getting re-released and people would rather have the new one than the one that you have there. So I definitely get that side of it, but I also see the side of it of collectors coming into the collection or coming into the hobby or the collecting game, looking up there and being like, damn, I can't spend 250 on that Rikishi. And then getting a different Rikishi, you know, they re-release a Rikishi and then, you know, it's a lot better for them. And it helps out Mattel at the end of the day, kind of affects the secondary market. But at the end of the day, Mattel is a business. They're trying to get that money printed. So this is probably a good business investment for them them trying to figure out more retail exclusives they couldn't think of anything off the top so they're like damn why don't we just re-release them guys so I definitely get the, the understanding of it man but let's go ahead and break down which figures I think these are gonna be and then we will get into it man so starting out first we do have Bam Bam Bigelow now we did just have his Legends figure correct we just had his Legends figure I doubt it would be that attire and I really don't see it being the TNF figure I would be shocked if it was the Walmart exclusive TNF figure but I definitely could see it being the Legends 5 Bam Bam Bigelow with a similar look you guys know with like the flames coming off of it and all the black and orange I think that's what it would be I still think the gray legends one is his best one but a re-release of the legends 5 is what what my guess would be if I had to put one guess on it it would probably be the legends 5 with the black and orange look now moving on to Jake the snake for his figure I imagine there's two different ones that I could see it being but out of uh, out of my brain I feel like it's going to probably be ah it's really hard it's either going to be a toss-up it's either going to be the hall of fame figure from the class of 20 14, you guys know the, the Target exclusive Hall of Fame, Jake the Snake, in, the, in like the white and pink and blue gear, or it's going to be the Walmart exclusive flashback in the light blue. I could see it being both ones. You know, both of those were really hard to come by. Jake the Snake has some figures that are super rare. I don't understand it. Besides this new Legends one that we got in his Chase figure, he actually has quite a bit of elites here, so I could see it being the Light Blue or the Hall of Fame. Do not know which one it could be, honestly. They're both really sought after, so I, I could see it being one or the other. I wouldn't mind one or the other. They're kind of completely different, to be honest with you, as far as like their looks. Their head sculpts are different, things of that nature. I kind of want it to be the Hall of Fame, but that flashback one was really nice. I guess if I had to be a guess, I'd probably probably go with the flashback, but I wouldn't be shocked if it was the Hall of Fame. Up next, guys, we do have the Rock Elite. Now, this one is kind of, I don't really know. Like, he actually has a lot of different figures. You do have your defining moments in the Rock and Sock deal. Could be like the purple and gold trunks. Could be that Royal Rumble Elite, right? It could be his Elite, what was it, 22 figure? There's a lot of one, a lot of ones that it could be for the Rock. I honestly couldn't tell you. I guess if I had to make a guess, it would probably be the defining moments, right, with the, like, the purple outline on it. Maybe, probably won't come with all the different bells and whistles, because I I don't know if they could fit that in there. We did just get the Rock and Sock jacket in that two-pack with Mankind. So that's kind of like all over the place. I don't really know. I guess I would probably go with the defining moments with the gold, the Rock logo, and then the purple outline. Maybe put some sunglasses, a cloth t-shirt, some sunglasses, a microphone, something like that is probably what I would expect out of the Rock's figure. Up next, guys, for Rikishi, it's just going to be a re-release of the Hull of Champions slash Elite 27. I wouldn't expect it to be any different. Maybe some True Effects technology applied to the head skull. Maybe a re-release of the Intercontinental Championship, I'm not entirely sure. Those are the only two that I could really see it being. I think it'd be cool to see him, like, in a totally different look, like maybe, the, you know, like a, a nice bucket hat or some sunglasses or something like that would be really cool. But double jointed arms for Rikishi and all those different things, I think it'd be a really beautiful figure. His other elites were great. I really wish I never got rid of mine. I, I'm definitely going to be grabbing this full set for you guys and reviewing it on the channel. The Rikishi 
is going to be a bomb figure, but he his similar two figures, maybe they'll change it just a little bit. Maybe they'll change it just barely so it's not the exact figure, but it, you know, you'll be able to get a Rikishi in your collection. Now for the Undertaker, I feel like there's a few ways this thing could go. And I'm feeling like it's probably going to be the Elite 18 Undertaker, I think it is. You know, similar to the Elite 55, but with different different stuff going on on the leg. I think it's going to be like the Dead Man Inc. on the pants is what I would suspect. You'd get your double jointed arms, he'd be a little bit bigger, he'd have a better head sculpt. I think it could be a beautiful Undertaker figure. I'm hoping it's Elite 18. I could see it being one of the defining moments takers, but I, I, I think it will be the Elite 18 if I had to make a guess. You guys remember Elite 23 was re-released in that little 47.5 or that little off leg set is what I was referring to so this could easily be you know Elite Series 18 I hope it's Elite Series 18 we'll have to find out at the end there but that would be what my guess would be and the last figure in the set is going to be Rey Mysterio and for him he has so many damn figures man the only ones that I could really see being is it gonna be the Elite Series 1 I could see it being any of those beginning series Mysterios where the legs are really stiff. But I don't know why, man, but I feel like it's probably going to be his his Flash gear. His Flash or Mysterio gear, the ringside exclusive gear, is what I would guess it would be. Now, they may change it barely, but having double jointed arms and the nice gloves and all that stuff is really making me excited for it. But since it's a greatest hit series, that figure was very sought after. I could see it being the purple and yellow. I could see it being the Days of the Dead attire. I could see it being all those different gears. It may be a, a combination, you know? We could get any of those different gears there, but I I don't know why I feel it in my spirit. It's going to be the ringside exclusive gear, or it may be the Avatar gear from the WrestleMania collection. The WrestleMania 26, I think it was, Rey Mysterio exclusive figure. I think that could also be what it is. If I had to take a guess, I feel like it's going to be the, Ray, the, the Flash Ray gear. Would be really awesome. I know that figure is really super hard to come by. It could be the Elite One. I definitely expect it to be a pants Rey Mysterio, though, especially being a great greatest hits figure or something like that. And it wouldn't shock me if the Undertaker was like a Elite 8 or Elite 1 or something like that completely redone, which would be really awesome as well. I think all the figures would look beautiful and all those different things, but that is the Greatest Hit series, man. That is the complete Greatest Hit series. We covered all the different things there, broke down the set, what I think it's going to be, what I expect out of the set. So you guys can let me know what you think of this set down below. Do you hope it's re-releases? Do you hope that... What do you expect out of the way? Do you think it's going to be all that? You guys can let me know all those things down in the comment section below, but one more run through. Bam Bam Bigelow, Jake the Snake Roberts, The Rock, Rikishi, The Undertaker, and Rey Mysterio. Do you guys hope it is straight up re-releases of old figures with updates, or do you hope that it is completely new gears? Let me know all the things, man. But I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like Mattel re-releasing figures. Actually, I don't really mind it that much because I can get them again. You cross the line, I've been beaten, broken down.